here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Still pretty steamy outside with temperatures in the upper 80s. We topped out at 90 again today, making it four straight days of 90 degree heat. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. As I mentioned earlier, we're tracking this thunderstorm working its way across southeast Connecticut. Let's focus in on it. Hasn't made, uh, produced a whole bunch of lightning within the last 10 minutes, although one little lightning strike there on the back side of it. It's heading on off to the south and east. So if we time it out, it's moving at about 25 miles an hour. So it's expected to work its way into the westerly area in about a half hour or so and could impact the beaches from say Charlestown to South Kingstown maybe out into Narragansett by 7 7 30 or so but the trend for this one has been for it to weaken and it's the only thunderstorm in town right now. High temperatures today up around 90 degrees in Providence once again making as I mentioned the fourth straight day of 90 degree heat. We uh, don't get the four day heat waves terribly often. It's only been about 45 or so in recorded history. Threat tracker for tonight at the medium level Sunday and Monday look a lot better. We're at that medium level because of the threat of that isolated thunderstorm and yeah, it's still pretty steamy out there. Here's Newport Harbor. We've got blue sky looking beautiful. Here's the uh, city of Providence. Little windy here with a wind right now from the west at about 9 miles an hour. We've cooled off to 88 degrees, but it still feels like it's in the mid-90s with the heat index. Elsewhere, we've got 85 in Newport, 81 in uh, westerly, 88 degrees over in New Bedford. The dew points, it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, measurement the amount of moisture in the air. We're in the low 70s right now. Overnight, those dew points go tumbling all the way down into the 40s and 50s. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, it'll feel a lot better outside. And even through the daytime tomorrow, we're talking about dew points in the 40s and 50s. So looking good for tomorrow, but we are tracking this cold front. It's separating the very humid air from the dry air, and that's why we've got a couple of isolated storms uh, here in uh, New England. Really only one that could potentially impact us uh, over the next hour or so. Let's take a look how all this plays out. Hour by hour forecast, tracking a shower or a thunderstorm till about 8 o'clock. And then the winds shift into the north. Look at here. We got north and northeasterly winds for Sunday morning, bringing in the drier air. A few high clouds around tomorrow, but overall looking at a, a really nice day. Let's talk about it. Sunday morning breaks down like this. Temperatures climbing back through the 70s, getting up to about 80 by noontime. So we're still warm despite the less humid air working in. Let's pinpoint the afternoon. Narragansett, 79, 80 in Newport, 82 Wickford, Hope Valley, 82, about 81 in Westerly, upper 70s, low 80s over in, up in uh, northern Rhode Island. Johnston and Providence included. Southeastern Mass looks dry and sunny, low humidity in Fall River and New Bedford. Headed to the beach tomorrow, a little bit more comfortable. We lose the humidity, but lots of sunshine still and dry weather. Air temperatures around 81. Here's our seven day forecast. Now, on Monday, still holding on to the nice weather, about 81. Tuesday's looking okay, 83. Starts to get a little more humid later in the week. Could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms from Thursday into next Saturday, but no washouts expected there. Full forecast always at WPR. All right, coming up in.